So servants, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all staying safe, stay well, not that jazz. And in today's video, I'm gonna be creating Garu Gyaru. <laughs> I really hope I'm saying this right, but Gyaru girlfriends, yes. And um I am really intrigued by this style. I really like it, and it's one of those like um I think it's part of the harajuku is it part of the harajuku i was gonna say j fashion because i'm not sure if it's part of the harajuku the main signature styles are like um wearing socks like especially the loose socks um uh loose socks that are kind of like leg warmers and also just wearing really like well especially trendy 2000s clothes i can't really describe it oh yeah and also wait i can <laughs> um makeup is like um they made they wanted to make their eyes bigger so they would wear like eyeliner that kind of drooped below their eyes i'll kind of show a picture of that as well and also very sometimes it was colorful makeup sometimes it was very like natural but yet like trendy makeup you'll kind of know what i mean um i don't know how to describe this type of makeup but it's just very like um an exaggeration of maybe like american trends that were popular back then if you think of like 2000s american trends you know that kind of especially like dramatic not dramatic but like kind of over the top natural or well, quote unquote natural look was really popular back then so i think um a, a lot of gyaros were inspired by that and also, um, I think the origins of this style were from Baywatch, the movie, so that does kind of make sense because of the the kind of tanned look and um, makeup style, especially, was just kind of um, adapted into, you know, this style, which is what we call Gyaru. So that's my kind of little rundown, um, but let's go on to the video. Um, I'm creating Brandy and her girlfriend Zara. I think that's how you say it, but please feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, I really love them. Um, I love this style. I tried to replicate it as much as I could in The Sims 4, but since The Sims 4, you can't put multiple accessories on a sim. It kind of, it can, it, you know, it could have gone a bit better, especially with the amount of layering capabilities that this style has like if we had more slots i did talk about this in the previous video but i do wish that we did have more slots because it would make this ks not feel so watered down because i could just go all out and just put as many accessories as i wanted so again sims 14 please um <laughs> please may we have slots um more, more accessory slots and more makeup slots i really want to um, be able to layer my sims makeup and that would be very awesome um <laughs> but yeah um one thing i really love about this style is just how actually in j fashion in general just how you can just be whatever like just be free like do whatever you want literally there's so many different types of gyarus there's like hime which is like princess i think so it's like a kind of sweet um sweet and more cuter style i think this is the th this is what this is one of like the main gyarus you will see gyaru styles and the other style is like the really like um a, like americanized inspired not americanized like inspired by american trends kind of one i don't know what it's called but i think it's just the um i guess it's just the street style gyaru which is um the gya um, a gallery style that is very up to date with like well Amer for american trends back then and it's the one that i think um brandy is wearing um sara is wearing the more of the the school the school girl inspired like um not hime but kind of it's like in the mid i, can I don't know how to, ex um, how to explain this but i hope you guys get what i'm saying and um again i'm thinking of a j fashion series to do but i need to finish my other series so um that probably won't come until i finish or i finish at least one other one which is either the shira or the um the historical series but um i am really looking forward to starting this series whenever i can because j fashion is so broad and this is only just one of the styles and 
even Gyaru, like in itself, this style has multiple different subcategories. Like I mentioned before, there was Hime. I don't know the other names for um, the other Gyaru styles, but there is definitely a lot. I did go on Wikipedia and like other. I think I went on like the official J Fashion Wiki, and they have a lot of. Um, it was either Wiki or the J Fashion one that had the list of different Gyaru styles. But if you guys want to learn that, as I said before, I will put it in the description, and it is really fun and interesting to look out, look at, <laughs> look at. So I really recommend um, just having a look and seeing what the style is, especially like in terms of the clothes. Um, Gyaru fashion is something I would really like to try in the future. Like. It just seems so cool and I really do love J fashion and um, it would just be so cool just to see what I would look like in this kind of style because I am kind of bad at makeup, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I do need more practice in that aspect but um, overall I think it like in terms of the clothes, I do have some clothes in my wardrobe or my sister's wardrobe I could just borrow. <laughs> That kind of um, resemble the Gyaru style. Um, yeah, basically, there's a lot of subcultures that I want to kind of try out the fashion because it's so cool. And if I do end up making a J fashion series in the future, um, do expect maybe more in depth videos about the subculture. Because then again, I did say before, I do love researching and I just kind of want to spill all the information that I've learned to you guys. So um, do look forward to that. Um, I don't have anything else to say so I think I'm going to end the voice recording here and thank you so so much for watching this video I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are and um, don't forget to check out the description for links, petitions and resources um, and cards um, to help BAME communities and there will also, there'll also be donation links in those um, cards so I really encourage you to donate if you do have the money and other than that I will see you guys next video so goodbye